The second thing a true spiritual father and mother will not do is they will not violate, they will not control or manipulate. Are you still with me? Or did he get off on two stations back? You're still on the same train? All right, still going. We will, a true spiritual father or mother will not control or manipulate. That means they do not use their position of spiritual authority to get their own agendas done through the person they are nurturing. Think about it. Here's this one example, one reference here. Second Timothy chapter 12 or 17 19, Paul is writing to the Corinthians. He says, did I take advantage of you by any of those whom I sent to you? I... Uh, I urged Titus and sent our brother with him. Did Titus take advantage of you? Did we not walk in the same spirit? Did we not walk in the same steps? Again, verse 19, he says, Again, do you think that we excuse ourselves to you? We speak before God in Christ, but we do all things, beloved, for your edification. He says, look, did I take advantage of you? Did any of my team members take advantage of you? No. They have, we have spiritual authority, but we will not use our spiritual authority for any of our own agendas. Are you listening? That's a true spiritual father, mother. And you're only seeking their edification. So you say, what do you mean? Sometimes spiritual fathers and mothers are guilty of living their dream through their sons and daughters. Just like in the natural. You don't do that. Got to nurture them up into their call, into what God wants for their lives. Now, I'm going to say something that maybe it will strong, and it, but yet it's true. Spiritual control and manipulation is witchcraft. Spiritual control and manipulation is witchcraft. Now, we all talk about the dark side of it. You know, somebody wants, they go to some person outside. They say, hey, can you do some magic? Make that boy love me. <laughs> so that guy, he cuts a chicken's head. He cuts something and he does something. He causes it. That is witchcraft. What is it? It is spiritual control and manipulation. Now, same thing can happen in the church. Where... Because somebody is trusting you and saying, uh, no, they're relating to you and you're being their father or mother. You have a spiritual authority in their lives. Now, if you use that authority to control and manipulate, it's the same thing. But it's being done in the church. And it's witchcraft. So prove it from the Bible. Glad you asked. Paul is writing to the Galatians. And... Uh, you know, Paul has come and preached and he's gone and other people have come and they're preaching a different doctrine. And then Paul writes to them in Galatians 3.1. He says, oh Galatians, who, oh foolish, he calls them foolish. Oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Oh, strong words. The Greek there has the meaning of using pretense and magic to control. Same as witchcraft. But this is the context, is the local church. The context is through teaching. The context is through what they are preaching. They are practicing, they're controlling and manipulating the people. And so he said, who has bewitched you? And then he continues, and I'm just picking up a few verses in Galatians 5. And he says, you know, you're once again come under the yoke of bondage. There's a bondage now over you because of their teaching. And then he says in verses 7 and 8, he says, you know, this thing is not of Christ. He says, you ran well, who hindered you from obeying the truth? This persuasion does not come from him who calls. Are you with me? So a spirit, true spiritual father, mother will not do that. They will not control and manipulate uh, people that they have uh, access to. And a, a related thing in number three is they will not abuse their spiritual authority. That means they will not use their... Uh, uh, authority to control the faith of somebody. They will not use their authority to dictate how they live their lives. They will not use it for their personal gain. That means no favors in return. I'm very careful. People can't come to me. I can impart to them spiritually, but I make sure I don't ask them for any favor. Can you, you know, give me a special room in the hotel? 
Can you bring me this, bring me that? No. You don't do that. You don't abuse your authority that God has given you in their lives. Are you listening? Now Paul writes, for instance, for the Corinthians, he, he says in 2 Corinthians 1.24, he says, not that we have dominion over your faith, but we are fellow workers for your joy. Look, we don't have dominion. We don't control your faith. We can help you. We can nurture you. But we will not dictate your personal walk with God. Are you with me? Number four, they will not attack, attack or pull you down if you go beyond them. That's a true spiritual father mother. In fact, they'll be happy. A bad example is that of Saul and David. You know, the entire nation of Israel was so scared to fight Goliath. But here comes David and he kills Goliath. Everybody should be happy. And they are happy. They're singing their song. Saul has slain thousands. David his ten thousands. And Saul says something's wrong. He gets jealous. And out of jealousy, he wants to destroy. That's a bad example. He's not being a true spiritual father. Number five, they will not prevent you from receiving from other true ministers of God. They will not say things like, we are the only pure stream and you must only drink of this stream. All other streams are contaminated. You will not hear that. See at APC, we don't tell you, don't go to this meeting, don't visit that church, don't read that book, don't watch God TV. We don't say those things. Please watch God TV. Our program comes on it. <laughs> we don't say those things because we know that in the body of Christ, God has placed many ministers and we need to receive through all their lives. One man doesn't have it all. One church doesn't have it all. That's why God has a variety of ministers and ministries and we have to receive through their lives. But carefully, the good things. But a true father mother will not say, don't receive from there, from there, from there. No. Because they know they don't have everything to give. 